This is our first annual event and we're so excited to have over 125 participants, including parents, child care providers, members of the medical community, all coming together as a group to encourage members of the legislature that the first years of life are so important. The first few years of a child's life is the foundation, like the foundation on a house. If that's built well, then the rest will come. So school success, success in life later, all of those things hinge on a good, high quality experience birth to five. We've done wonderful with our K-12 programs, with universal pre-K, and, and it's, I think, a really important moment in time for us to start focusing on those youngest children. The first 2,000 days of a child's life are when 90% of the brain develops, and we want to make sure that children have access to those quality early learning experiences. Over 55% of Oklahoma is actually labeled as a child care desert, meaning there isn't quality licensed child care accessible and ready for children who are ready to go to school. If children don't have that quality access to early experiences, they're most likely entering school behind and not ready to learn. And we all know that once children enter school unready to learn, it's very difficult for them to catch up. So as a child care provider in Oklahoma, we've been advocating for these issues for, for many, many years. And it's so refreshing to me to see all of these other industry players and stakeholders coming together and we're all fighting for the same cause. The Oklahoma Partnership for School Readiness is the, the thing that glues us all together across the state, representing children, representing the child care providers, the school teachers, the, the families and the kids themselves. And so without OPSR, we would be all doing our own thing instead of banding together and, and really putting the importance on children. So once we actually actually get to walk on the floors of the Capitol, I feel like we're going to walk over there and we're going to step our feet on the ground and just know that we're setting the tone for hopefully a really positive, impactful movement. So the reception here today at the Capitol with the legislators has been really very, very positive. We know that our Oklahoma legislators deeply care about children. And the, the question of the hour is where, where should they invest? And we really want to remind them how important the early years are. So we're very pleased that they understand the importance of the early years, that they are understanding brain development, they understand trauma and adversities that kids have to overcome, and they know that we can do those things. And so early investment is crucial. We're really excited about the numbers that we have today. Um, normally, uh, Oklahoma Child Care Resource and Referral, all of our regional staff, we have eight regions in the state, come. We usually have about 50 people. This year, we partnered with Oklahoma Partnership for School Readiness, and we invited other youth serving agencies. So, you know, we have people from uh, the Scholars Program, we have people from Tulsa Educare, and we have a lot of other agencies that are here. And the more people you have boots on the ground to go and visit with the uh, legislators and tell them how important it is in their experience, um, the more people we can impact. So uh, we're just thrilled that we have this many people here today. My hope for today is that we can continue this momentum and really support additional resources in communities for early childhood in Oklahoma. This advocacy event is like a big family reunion of early childhood advocates across the state. Walking into the room and seeing all these like minds understand the importance of early childhood development and high quality environments for kids, it like fills you up. <laughs>